I think these these moments are the toughest uh, one uh, to to cope with, and not knowing what you do because you're so you feel so lonely and you feel in a way that you would like to jump out and go there and, and help him, but then in a way you have the responsibility and uh, it. First of all, it was a big shock. I mean, I, I drive past and I see Ralph there and he sort of stopped breathing. I couldn't breathe anymore and almost uh, start crying, honestly. Then I went on the radio straight away and, and checked with the team what's going on. What's the story? And then the team, and thanks to as well the BMW people who gave us in, uh, all the time the latest information, the latest update. So I was permanent uh, in, in contact with the team. They explained me what's going on and that was uh, a big relief for me. How is he now? He has a good morale. Uh, he's obviously um, in big pain. And unfortunately, they had to discover much bigger consequences uh, in, in the recent days than they initially found, which is a little bit of a concern, I'd say, uh, but he knows what, what's the story, he's been looked after now and uh, he'll be back at, at some stage. Do things like that make you question your motivation, your appetite for the sport? No, no, because uh, first of all, we know there is a certain danger uh, involved in Formula One and the moment of the shock was rather short because I got immediate uh, feedback from the team that Ralph basically He's moving and uh, he's bruised and he's whatever, but uh, nothing life-threatening. Although hearing now the information we, we got makes you maybe a little bit uh, thinking differently. But initially, uh, the team said he was moving, was trying to get out of his car and uh, he was stopped by the marshals just to be precautious. You're a huge family man, aren't you? You don't go in for the trappings, for the jets, for the boats and things like that. You're happiest when you're away, out of the public eye, I'd have to say, with certainly, your family. I mean, certainly, um, it is one part of it, being at home, recharge your battery. And it's uh, obviously very important to have the support I do have from my family in the way that they let me go without uh, telling, okay, it's en enough is enough. They, they, the, re the ratio I'm having of uh, off time and, and on, uh, on duty time is, is uh, pretty much acceptable and I believe I, I have more time available to my family than any normal uh, in points uh, worker who go, who leaves in the morning the house comes back in the evening. People tell me Michael your wife Corinna could be a, a very high class uh, horse lady she's very very good on, on horseback she didn't even get to Olympic level. She's very fanatic about the horses uh, she's always been since she was a, a little kid and uh, she just loves it but she doesn't love it really for the sense of competition she does some of it, but uh, it's, it's lesser important that she's competitive. It's more important the horse uh, is in good condition and she doesn't want to push them too hard and, and just enjoy her, herself. How much is the Ferrari team, from your point of view, a bit of an extension to your family? It's uh, quite a bit. And I believe another part of the, the recipe is, is the great relationship we have within the team, the friendship uh, I do have with most of the people in the team. It's so close. I mean, I come here and I, I feel like home. Uh, everything is just so easy. Everybody trusts each other. There is no internal fighting to achieve something because everybody wants to achieve the same. And uh, everybody believes and leaves its own uh, area to where, where everybody is good at. People always ask me how much longer can he carry on. And quite a those few people want you out of the way because you win so much. But I say to them, he will carry on as long as he's having fun. Would that be right? I think that is the most simple and truthful uh, explanation. As long as I love the sport, as long as I'm competitive, I keep on going.